very first response of any individual is to run away from his thumb because thumb hurts. Yes. But what I have gone through in my life has made me stronger in faith. Faith, even though everyone will always get to the point where it will be shaken. Yes, Tom does that to our faith. But the main intention, why God allows it, is to get us above our current state of challenges. God won't just let us be without constantly exposing us to what we need to be like Him. So when you run from the storm, you remain at the level of the ordinary people. Who would rather avoid challenges than to make impact while fulfilling their purpose of existence in this dispensation? In 1 Samuel chapter 17, 20 to 34, David asked questions until he got to Saul. Others retreated each time Goliath came forth, but David needed to kill Goliath to be launched into his destiny. But he didn't start by just killing Goliath. He didn't run away from the bear and the lion. God used this to prepare him to face Goliath and then used Goliath to prepare him for the, for the numerous wars he fought to secure peace for the reign of Solomon in Israel. Storm separate leaders. It singles out because each time you survive one, you get to the level where many more begin to look up to you for solutions in the area you just survived. And for each storm we face, it introduces us to a new platform for success. Storms will come into our lives as Christians in form of a calamity or hardship of some kind. It might even be a medical issue, a marital problem, a legal issue, or something else. The list goes on and on. But there are three kinds of storms a believer will face, and I would like to call them the following. The general storm, the segmental storms, and the individualized storms. Now, the general storm is that which happens to everyone, no matter your location. The coronavirus is an example, and it crippled the economy of the world with no clue of how to handle it. It delayed plans of everyone who depended on government policies to carry out their plans. Nobody was ready for it, meaning everyone's response was to retreat. Matthew chapter 7, 24 to 27 reveals everyone will be revealed, will be exposed to this type of storm, prepared or not prepared. Now, verse 24 says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them is like a man who built his house on the rock. The rain fell, the torrent raged, and the wind blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because its foundation was on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the torrent raged, and the wind blew and, began, and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the collapse. So you see, everyone will be exposed to the same level of challenges when we are facing the general storm. There are different reasons for this type of storm, ranging from nations turning away from God into sin, deliberate disobedience to God's instruction, or not acknowledging the existence of God itself. So God could decide to purge the system by letting our leaders know he rules and will always rule and reign in the affairs of men. Genesis chapter 6 and chapter 7 exposes us to that. Number 2, the segmental storm. There are types that apply to locations. You remember the wildfire in Australia, the xenophobic attack in South Africa, the kidnapping and banditry in Nigeria. It could even be narrowed down to its sect, a family or regions of the world like the Ebola virus, sometimes no matter the threat, it, would, it won't just cross to other individuals, other nations or other environment, no matter the threat. Number three is the one I call the individualized storm. This type of storm is peculiar and it comes to every individual at different intervals. I have gone through series in my life where I could not see anything in my future. I can still remember telling my girlfriend then, several years ago, my future was bleak and advised her to be open to another relationship with a man who may have been able to define his future. I couldn't see a future for myself. Just that I had to trust God can still bring something out of the pieces I had become. This personalized term is the most important for any individual who has his foundation in Christ Jesus, who can guarantee success even in stages like this. This is the stage my many compromise in an attempt to seek a solution to their challenges. But for many who hold on to God, 
usually come out sailing in the storm like the eagles uses the storm to sail greater and greater and greater to greater height. So your running away from the storm only shows your level of understanding and how God and how you see God. Most of us see God as a random helper who chooses only when it is easy to help an individual. All things, all things are possible to them that believe. The Bible says when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. James chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, NLT version. Now God needs you to see him throwing you or allowing you go through the storm to lift you up in life. Exodus chapter 13 verse 17 reveals, God did not expose the children of Israel to difficulty because he wanted to punish them for their sins, but to prepare them towards taking over the land of milk and honey that he promised them. Parents of the Bible reveals, when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them along the road through the land of the Philistines, though it was shorter. For God said, if the people face war, they might change their mind and return to Egypt. Many want to enter into God's promise without a fight. Anything you get without a context, a context was never important. So not valuable and does not need anyone watching or holding on to it. Many of us chase money because we think our value in life is thought up in the amount we can possess. But all my life, I have read, I have heard, and I have seen where the pursuit of purpose as a total package. Seek God and money will become so common in your life. Masmuro said he stopped shopping in the Bahamas at, at, at the time because any time he went into a supermarket to buy anything, there were people already waiting to pay for whatever he bought. I once said Kenny Copeland also say he went into a supermarket to buy something one day. But when he got back into the car, his wife asked, did you rob the supermarket? Because he had money filled in his palm. People saw him and were just sticking money into his hands. The Bible records in 1 Kings 11.27, silver was like stone in Jerusalem because of its abundance. Your destiny will set many more free. So you need to fulfill sin, but with a fight on your knees and through the understanding of the technicalities of your part. That your peculiar challenges storm my tempers. I know this has blessed you. Please do a part. Do your part by sharing this with a friend, by sharing with somebody that might need this, that might be at his or at lowest level in life. Let him know that God is using that low level he's currently at, she's currently at, to lift him up into that which he wants to launch him into. God bless you, your The name is Uduak Afan.